Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Shovel Knight. So last time we took down Spectre Knight here in the Lich Yard. And we got a bunch of gold, we got a new meal ticket, and a new substage right above where I am had to open up. So I'm gonna tackle that right quick. Alright, so oh it's uh it's scrolling on its own, so just keep that in mind. Um but just a little uh, bonus stage, I guess. Alright, so let's see. Let's see how well we can do here. So it keeps the same elements of um, King Knight stage. We've seen all of these elements before. So that's something to uh, consider. Let me grab that treasure. Let's see if I can make it back. Alright, nice. Alright, so I don't want to get trapped because getting trapped will kill you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't think I can... Ooh, I guess I can. Well, I'm not going to press my luck. I probably could have, but uh, didn't really feel like trying it. Alright, so that went too bad. I think that's the end of the stage. I'm actually going to try to get this other block here. Alright, pretty good. Short and sweet. Not bad at all. Alright, so uh, here we have Trowpel Pond, which we hadn't visited yet. So we're just going to visit this uh, place real quick and see what it's all about. Uh, oh my god. This is the Trowpel King. So let's talk to him. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me! I sense a Trapo Chalice! I can fill it with magical Icor! That's pronounced Icor! Choose your Icor wisely! Alright, so there's three different types of Icor that we can choose from. Now, we've seen the Icor of Boldness before. We've gotten that twice from his little Trapo friends or whatever. That uh, if you drink it, you become invincible for 10 seconds. Now, there's also the Icor of Renewal, which refills all health and magic. So, a la Zelda, that's uh, quite a potion to have. And the Icor of Fortune, which absorbs nearby treasure for 60 seconds. Now, I'm probably not going to ever buy that one, because I don't think that really does much for me. Um, the Icor of Boldness is good to use during like boss battles and stuff, but uh, so is the Icor of Renewal. So, one of my chalices is already filled with Icor of Boldness, so I'm going to buy one of these. And I'll probably at some point buy two chalices full of that, but if you have a chalice already full, you can't replace it until you use it, so I'm just going to get this one for right now. Subjects, a new initiate joins us! The ceremony shall commence! <laughs> so they do a little celebration dance, which is really, really, really awesome. <laughs> he looks so happy! They, they weren't kidding, like, he is half apple, half trout. Really, really weird creature. So I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this dance. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you, Trapple King. Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. I don't know how to do a fish voice, so that's just what I went with. And you see all the little uh, Trapples up there hanging from the tree like little apples. That's that's cute. All right, so we get that for for free. So as long as we bought the Trapple chalices back in the village from... I can't remember who we bought them from the first... Oh, it was like a Trapple acolyte or something, or something like that. It was somebody who was following him. He was a human, but he was selling tra chalices for 1,500 gold apiece. So picked up a couple of those, and that's that's that. Uh, the Forest of Phasing is down here. Oh, and there's a guy hanging out. Yikes! Spikes! If only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. Uh, so that's kind of a hint that uh, we need the relic, the, well I just passed it all the way over here, the phase locket. 
So, um, otherwise, if you didn't have the phase locket, you would not be able to cross these spikes, because there's no possible way to jump over them. So you need the phase locket in order to get past it, so you can activate it, and then just walk right across. Easy peasy. So you do need this relic in order to proceed through this optional stage. So lucky for us, we do have it. And this part's where it gets a little tricky, because... It really presses the limit as far as how long the effect... Oh god, I didn't even see that slime there. It really pushes... Oh god. I don't even have the words to describe why I did that. What was I trying to do? I guess I was trying to jump up and hit that brick that was up there. That was really moronic. But, um... Okay, so let's try that again without the dying. Alright. So I got my gold back. Okay, so now you gotta be careful. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's good to use the uh, phase locket when you just need to pass through some enemies too, so. It does have lots of use. Lots of utility. Right, so I'm gonna wait another second. This is where it gets tricky, I'm telling you, because you can't press your luck in how long the phase locket's effects last. Alright, so. Right here. Oh, yep. Yep. So that happened. Oh boy. So I'm having some trouble. I'm telling you, like the it's hard to time it out too because it really only lasts like a second or two. But um, you know, I guess you just use it enough times and you get used to it. And whatever. But oh, oh God. So I forget you can use it again if you, like, jump in the air as it's expiring. So kind of like that. So it's just something else to keep in mind. So it's probably the technique I'm going to have to use here while I'm doing this. So I'll use it. And then I'll use it again. Alright. So not too bad. It's really not. I mean, you just got to get used to the timing and everything of it. And you're bound to make a few mistakes. I mean, it's pretty hard to get through this game without dying once. Um, that is an achievement, but uh, I don't think I've ever gotten that one. You can't kill those things, but I just didn't want to bother. Because I'm lazy. Another chest. Hey, and a music sheet. Nice. Alright, so we got a bunch of gold. We got 15,000. So let's head on back to the village because we got some music sheets to sell. We got a meal ticket to cash in, so we're going to do that. And we got a bunch of gold to spend, so maybe we'll spend some. Let's talk to the bar. Whoa! You have three music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the apparition! When I presented his theme to Spectre Knight, he started conducting with that huge scythe. I'm glad I ducked out of the way in time. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Just ask. Ah, well, maybe some other time. But thanks for the offer, buddy. Oh yeah, I have a meal ticket, so let's talk to this guy. A meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon the mess! So he goes ape crazy in the kitchen again to prepare us a fantastic feast in a golden platter. And I guess that's like a salad or something? I don't know, but let's eat it! And our life will extend by another piece, another circle, another orb, whatever. Let's talk to the Gotician. He's eating paper. Ah, decision, decision. Should I extend my magic or health or just eat a tin can? I don't know. So uh, he has uh, more meal tickets for us to buy so we can help him narrow his options so he doesn't have to make the decision. So his next meal ticket's worth 4,500. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and buy it because we have a crap ton of gold, so... So, uh, he has another meal ticket to work on. Another fantastic meal to conjure up for us. Another platter, and what does he have for us this time? I guess that's like a steak or a pot roast or something? I guess that's a steak. It's awfully rare on top, though. But we'll eat it all the same. We're not picky. Um, let's upgrade our magic a little bit. Oh yeah, I don't think we've done this yet, have we? I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Uh, yeah, so for 1,500, uh, she will increase or boost our maximum magic by 10 points with this lovely tonic. Yep, let's do it. So our maximum magic goes up to 40 now. 
Um, let's see. Let's see how much his next meal ticket is. 6,000. Let's see how much her next upgrade is. 2,200. So I guess I could do both of those. But I'm going to run downstairs real quick because there's a couple people that I have to talk to. Now, if you remember, there was one of these people talking about if we could only eliminate Spectre Knight. I think it was this lady right here. Oh, yeah. You defeated Spectre Knight. Now behold my greatest treasure. Dance! <laughs> I love this dance. Dance with me! Even the juice mate is cheering her on. Wonderful! And we get a music sheet. Nice. That was awesome. I think if you talk to her again, she's just going to do that whole routine over again. So, uh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Alright, so if we talk to this guy right here, he was wanting King Knight gone, remember? King Knight reigns no more. Huzzah! Now I can rule Pride more. Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky. They will probably can't wait to see me. Okay, so I guess that's that, yeah? Yep, so you don't get anything for uh, doing that for him, but uh, hey, it's nice to be nice, right? I don't think these guys have anything else to offer me. Yeah, you bought up all the relics I had on hand, but don't worry, I'm already planning my next trip. Alright. So, we got another music sheet. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and cash that in, and I'll buy a couple more upgrades real quick. Let me do that. Let me sell this. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, you found Watch Me Dance! You should write to Tantarella! Last time I, I take the advice of a painter. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform with you over here any time! Alright. So, let's upgrade our health and our magic one more time. So let's buy his meal ticket for 6,000. Yes, I am sure. Let's see what he can cook up for us this time. Yada yada yada! I wish I could cook this fast, especially right now. I'm really hungry. Uh, come on. Come on! There we go. Uh, oh, it's like a little piglet with an apple in his mouth or something. Yeah. Alright. We'll eat it in one bite. Yum yum yum. Uh, let's see how much his next one is. Oh! Thanks for buying all my meal tickets! I'm all out now. Had more, but they became meals before I arrived. <laughs> so I guess that's all we can get from him for now. Um, so let's see what the next magic upgrade is. 2200, sounds good to me. So let's cash that in and uh, let's move along. Actually, let's see how much the next upgrade is. I think it's like 5000 or something. Oh, 2800, so not... Oh, shoot, I could still... I could, I could get it. But, I'm going to save a little bit because you want to have a little bit of gold in the bank just in case you run across Chester in one of the stages and you need to buy a relic off of him. So uh, keep that in mind, you want a little bit of gold left in the bank. But uh, anyway, that uh, will probably do it for this episode. I think I'm going to call it because I don't want to start a stage this far into an uh, episode. But we have a lot of choices for next time. We have the Explodatorium, the Lair of Plague Knight. We have the Iron Whale, the Lair of Treasure Knight. That sounds cool. We have the Knuckler's Quarry, a locked gate so we can open that by defeating Treasure Knight. And then we have the Lost City, the Lair of Mole Knight. So wow, we have a lot to tackle here, but I think we're probably going to go in order. Maybe take on, maybe take on the Explodatorium next time. But that will have to wait, so... I think that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all later as I maybe take on one of these stages. So until then, you guys take care, and I will see y'all later for more Let's Play Shovel Knight.